if you do not have iTunes, or if you have an older version of iTunes that doesn't let you make folders, for instance, you don't see the option to make a new folder, or under advanced, you didn't see the option to subscribe to podcasts, it just means that you need to either download iTunes for the first time or upgrade your version of iTunes. So let's talk about those options for a minute. If you have iTunes, the easy thing to do is just to ch choose the menu under iTunes that says check for updates. And if you have an older version, a message something like this will come up. A new version of iTunes is available. Would you like to download it now? Just go ahead and click yes and it'll do everything for you very easily. For the moment I'm going to click no right here and show you another option. If you're on a Macintosh, you can hold down the Apple menu and go to software update and it'll automatically check for you what other applications you might need. If you only want to download iTunes at the moment, just go ahead and do the software update and deselect everything except iTunes and just choose iTunes that way. Another option, if you don't have a Mac or you have yet to have iTunes installed on your computer at all, is to go to the Apple website. So just pull up any web browser and say apple.com slash iTunes. Or just go to apple.com and choose the tab up here that says iPod plus iTunes. Once you're on this page, of course they updated a lot so it might look a little different than what we're seeing right now, you'll either be able to click this button here that says download iTunes or there'll be some button like this right here that says download now. I'll go ahead and click this. Now the Apple site usually detects pretty accurately whether you're accessing the website from a PC or a Mac. So usually it'll come up and say download iTunes for free and it knows that you're already uh, asking it from a Macintosh or a Windows. For instance, right now it knows that I'm talking to you from a Macintosh. And so the option it's given me is download iTunes free for the Mac. If you're on a window, check that this Mac, that your requirements here say PC, Windows, etc., etc. Or just click down here and say get iTunes for Windows. And it'll come up with the correct version for you. Now there are some, so you'll see here, if that's true, it'll say download Windows and it'll say Windows XP or Vista. There are some people who are not able to use iTunes on their computer. Either their computers are too old or they're at a work environment where their, uh, their workplace does not allow them to have iTunes. If that's the case, no problem. Um, there's another option for how you can listen to the weekly talks and that's in the next YouTube movie that we're going to see about using XML. Stay tuned for that or check in with that. Thank you.